What's up, y'all? Welcome to or back to my channel. My name is Dasani Soleil, and I'm gonna be giving y'all one more review on this IC hair. Um, I got this hair what last last week, right before school. I started school what August 14th, so the week before that is when I got my hair. So, um, let's just start off with the hair, the inches, and the prices. So, I got my hair in 18, 20, and 22 inch, and I had a 16 inch frontal. I did not use all of the bundles that was given to me. I still have some 18 inch left. Um, this is what the hair looked like when I first got it, and I will show you guys me unboxing it. This is what the curl looked like. I, it's more down here, but I'm just going to show y'all this because it's a long track. I have about, like, what, one-fourth of a track left, you know? It's maybe one for us, probably. It's about this much. I did not use all of it. I do want to find a way to use this. Maybe I'll add it in the back for a little bit more fullness. I don't really feel like I need it. This is what the hair looked like. I mean, the package looked like when I first got it in the mail. It was like this. And, you know, I'm going to show y'all what it like. I'm boxing. Um, it came with a little card, basically, with their little information on there. And all of that, you know. Pretty standard stuff that they send when they um send you hair. Now, I've ordered from Icy Hair on three separate occasions. I got some Malaysian curly twice and some Brazilian kinky curly hair from them. I don't think I have a video of the kinky curly, but I do have some pictures and videos of the Malaysian curly. I had it long. I got it, Actually, I got it really long like this, but I ended up cutting it into a short curly bob. And when I cut it, it kind of resembles how this curl pattern is now, just shorter. But so far, it's been a week that I've had this hair and I am in love with it, y'all. Like, this hair is just bomb. Like, it's so cute. Now, I did want to get a water wave from them, but me, I do like curly hair. I like some type of curl going on with it. So, I had saw this hair on, um, I can't remember her name, but I will link her video down below so you guys can see. She did this ginger, um, inspired hair look with it. And it was just, it was really pretty. She said that the curl was damaged, but... It didn't look damaged to me. I was like, that is so cute. And then I got um, another idea from Sade, which I will link her channel down below. The hair, it looked really good on them. So I was like, okay, this hair, this may be what I'm looking for. And I really wanted that loose curl pattern going on because I always get my curl pattern tight. And like, I knew that I could trust IC Hair because they're the only hair company that I've ordered from. Everybody else, I don't know, I'm kind of skeptical of. Um, I don't know if I trust them yet, but I see hair, they have my vote when it comes to curly hair. Like, I trust them with my curly hair life. Now, I'm 5'7", and this hair comes down to right there, which I feel like that's a good length. I didn't want to get it too long because I was worried about having to keep fixing it. I was worried like, okay, well, this, this is going to take a really long time, and I'm going to have to keep touching it up. But so far, I haven't had to touch it up. The first day of school and throughout the rest of the week, I didn't have to touch it. I didn't even retouch it now. And I'm going to retouch it on Sunday because today is Saturday. You know, I'm just freshening up for school and all that. But this hair, it holds the curl. It's really pretty and it doesn't get frizzy. Now, when doing the hair, I just, you know, wet it and I use my Aussie Moist Conditioner and my Deming Brush. And I just curl like that. And when I feel that I have the curl that I want, I go on my diffuser, dry it, and I throw the bonnet on the wig and I then just let it sit for night. I feel like the bonnet really scrunches up the curl the way I want. So yeah. And then the curl just turned out so pretty. Like, let me get a little closer so you guys can see. Now, when I first ordered the wig, I thought I was gonna be getting a closure. I think it's a closure, you know, the, like the ones that's kind of small. I'm used to getting those. I've never got a full frontal. This frontal, you know, goes all the way down here. So when I got it, I was a little scared. Like I wasn't expecting that. And so, you know, I, I kind of wanted to try something new with it. I had never like bleached knots before, but I watched Miss uh, Precious Marie. I think that's her channel name. I watched her and she helped me through the bleaching process. And I'm a beginner beginner. I don't even pluck the frontal sometimes. Now, I did pluck this a little bit, but I didn't want to overdo it because I didn't want a bald spot or anything. But, you know, I'm pretty much just going to wear it in the middle part. I'm not really a side part type of girl. But, yeah, she really helped me through the bleaching process. And I do have a little footage of me waiting, letting it sit for a little bit. But, yeah, that was really all that I did to the hair. It didn't really need much, you know. I did pluck, like I said, pluck the front a little bit just to... You know, help me out, but I didn't want to do too much and then have myself out here looking crazy. But yeah, that was really odd that I did. The hair, when I ordered it, 
Now, I got this hair off Amazon and I'm a Prime member. So I was expecting the hair when I ordered it to come the next day. And that's what they told me. They said that the next day that I would get the hair. The hair was about almost two days late. And I was getting kind of worried because school was like right around the corner. But you know, they sent it, sent exactly what I wanted. And it took me a while to make the wig because I kept getting the wrong cap size and all of that. But on the second try, I had to take it off the first initial wig cap that I did and re-sew it. But this time, you know, it turned out exactly how I want it. Under the wig, I'm just gonna show y'all, it is what it is. You know, I have this, my little cap under. I only do this so I can hold back my edges because my edges are really long. And under here, I kept the cap, I didn't take it off. Reason being, because I took it off the last one when I did it, and then the cap, the wig just seems so like loose. And I do have the elastic band on here, but my head is kind of like skinny. Now this, it doesn't make it look bulky because I'm sure half of y'all didn't even know that that was under there. But I do have the elastic band on here and I have that. It doesn't make my head feel tight and it don't give me no headaches. So I'm just gonna keep it until I feel the need to, you know, get rid of it, which I probably won't get rid of it and all that. Sorry, I just trying to make sure my wig back intact for the rest of the video. But yeah, I have my hair braided. I have a little part going here and the braids are going this way because I didn't want no braids and making it look bulky. Um, you know, if you guys want a video of how I make this wig, like I said, I'm not a professional making wigs, but I mean, it, it's beginner friendly, so you know. But that's really it for this, you know, the hair. It hasn't been long enough for me to give like an in detail hair review, but like I said, I trust I see hair. I've ordered from them and my other wig, I've had it for about a year. So it's a year and I still wear it and it feels just fine. It's a curly hair. It's the uh, Malaysian curly, the one I said that I cut. That's the one that I still have and it looks great. Like it's like a short curly bob and I have some pictures that I will put in here. And yeah, you know, it lasts me for a year. So I know that this hair, it should do the same. Now I'm going to be outside with this hair. So far I have not been outside. I haven't worked out in it and none of that. So, you know, when I get like a month in and see how this hair is, I'm going to hit y'all back with it. Hopefully I don't cut it. Like, I don't think I'm going to cut it, but I said that about the last hair. Let's just hope I don't. Okay. But yeah, yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. I really don't have nothing bad to say about this hair. There was no smell. You know, I don't get really bad shedding, even though I did cut the wefts. I, the shedding is normal. It's really no shedding, um, no matting. It don't look dry. It don't feel dry. This hair is it, perfectly fine. And yeah, you know, I'm gonna link everything down below so y'all can check out this hair, you know, and I'm gonna link all the girls' channels that I was watching while making this wig because without them, I probably wouldn't even found this hair. And I see here, you know, y'all keep doing y'all thing. You know, you're doing good. Now, I'm gonna try to get this straight hair and I hope it's as good as y'all curly, you know, trusting y'all now. I haven't, I don't know, I don't shop at no other hair company. I don't really trust them like that, you know. Maybe I need to branch out and try some other hairs, but as of right now, I'm an icy hair girl all the way. But yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. You know, comment down below any questions y'all have, what y'all think about this hair, what y'all want to know, all of that. And yeah, that's really it. See y'all next time. Bye.